Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to multiply three monomials. Now, the important thing to think about with monomials is that they are one-term polynomials. So when you multiply three monomials, you're really multiplying three one-term polynomials. So the process is pretty straightforward, and here's an illustration. Suppose you have 3xy, 5yz, and 2x squared z. And you want to multiply all of those. They're all monomials because they're all just one term, but when you multiply these, you just have to multiply the terms that are alike in terms of structure and base. So for example, you're going to multiply the numbers first. 3 times 5 times 2. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 2 is 30. So you got the numbers down. Next, you're going to focus on the x's. You have x, this doesn't have one, so we're going to skip it, times x squared. x times x squared is going to be x cubed. Now, then you move on to the y's. y times y is y squared. There's no y's over here, so you're done with the y's. And then you focus on the z terms. There's no z here, so we're going to move on to this one. z times z, is got, that's going to be z squared. And that's your final result. So when you're multiplying three monomials, you want to be sure that to multiply them, you simply multiply the like terms, if you will, the like components, and then just write it into one big term. So the moral of the story here is when you multiply three monomials, you're actually going to get a bigger monomial. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an introduction on how to multiply three monomials.